never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby Stop Good morning you guys, so today I figured I would bring you along and show you what we do on Kind of a typical Sunday in our house. Um, it's always kind of chaotic, but again, I am just trying to record some of these like last days of pregnancy to see how ridiculous I look in the future. I think these are really fun videos to look back on. <laughs> Mike, there's ice everywhere. So we're gonna do a vlog today. Just kind of show you what we do on a Sunday. All right, our first task of the day, which is pretty typical. Um, we are out delivering a barn door, which you can kind of peep behind me. Out delivering a barn door for a customer and then getting our usual, getting coffee. And then we're gonna be diving into some more projects today and finishing up getting ready for baby. So, you guys look at Look at my belly. Can you see the screen on there? Look at my belly in the screen. <laughs> this is our first time trying the Bantam Bagel Bites and they're so good. Did you eat it already? Yeah. Did you like it? Give her the other one, honey. Huh? So I got skinny mocha frap. Sometimes, like, I just like crave something cold even though it's like 15 degrees. Um, especially like getting over my cold right now. This feels really good in my throat. Did you like the bagel bites too? Were they good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, super good. Um, I think once we get back to the house too, I'm gonna kind of fill you guys in on what happened last night. Um, I was having a lot of contractions. So once we get back to the house, I'll fill you in on that. I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck, I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better um, okay, so just got home. Um, I did a little bit of curb walking, as you guys can see, and it's so cold today. We're getting another storm here, which is annoying, but um, okay, so last night I was at dinner with um, my in-laws and with my husband, and oh, um, I was getting consistent contractions about three and a half minutes apart for two hours, three hours. And um, I just, I always, this has happened like one time before where I started getting contractions like every five minutes apart, but it was like at night, right before I was about to go to bed. Um, and by the time, by the time we left the restaurant last night, it was like 9.30, it was pretty late. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so I knew that I was kinda getting towards the end of the night where they might fizzle out. I don't know. So anyways, I got home and they did, they got a little bit stronger. Um, but then they started to kind of fade. Like they were still coming, I'd say every four or five minutes, but they weren't quite as strong. Um, so I decided to sleep because I was so tired. I woke up at like two in the morning, it was like one fifty in the morning. Decided to try and start recording, um, my, or like start timing my contractions again because they were timeable and they were getting kind of painful again. Um, so I think I stayed up probably until like a little past three in the morning. Um, I can't remember, it's on my phone. Oh, Kaya's watching Vampirina in the background, per usual. Okay. 
Okay, so it looks like I started recording them at 1.58 in the morning. They were four minutes apart, five minutes apart. Looks like I missed one. And then it was five minutes apart, two minutes apart, two minutes apart, um, three minutes apart, three minutes apart, four minutes apart. And then I stopped recording at like 2.45 in the morning. Um, because like I said, I went back to bed at three. So, I mean, they were uncomfortable and they were, you know, intensifying a little bit, but they weren't quite as strong as they were when we were um, at the restaurant. High five, yeah. Um, I was so tired, it was like three in the morning, so I just decided, you know, these aren't intense enough where I wouldn't be able to sleep through them. So I made myself go to bed, and I did, I woke up a couple of times um, by a couple of strong contractions, and just, I don't know. I just was, I just was uncomfortable. I didn't sleep very well. Um, by the time I got up and moving in the morning, um, they have now completely faded. It's like 10.45 a.m. right now after running all of our errands this morning. And I am just, I'm just feeling a little like defeated because this is the second or third time this has happened where I start getting these timeable contractions and it just turns out to be what I would refer to as like false labor. So, and I thought it was the real deal last night just because they were much more intense than they have been. And, um, yeah, and I'm overdue. So I figured, hey, this is probably the real thing. In combination with the fact that I just had my membrane stripped on Friday morning, I thought for sure that it was going to be happening for me. But unfortunately not. Um, they did fade away. So I did, like I said, I did some curb walking right before this um, when we were stopping to get some paint. We decided to swing by and grab paint for some of our projects we're working on today. Um, so yes, I got out of, the car, out of the car and I did some girl walking. But fingers crossed that I can run up and down the stairs today and um, try and do some other natural labor induction methods. I was gonna make myself a big glass of um, green tea mixed with red raspberry leaf tea see if that does anything um yeah other than that i don't know what else to do than just wait for my induction um so i'm gonna go upstairs i'm gonna make some tea i'm gonna come back downstairs because kaya and i are hanging out in the basement today um getting cozy and watching movies and i'm gonna edit a video like i said like run up and down the stairs but anyways I had an outfit change and a hair change. Holy cow. Um, like you guys said, just have like the most stressful days sometimes and it's just like hard to process everything. Like sometimes you feel like as a human you can only like process so much and I'm just like so pregnant and yikers. Yeah, just I'm feeling all the things right now. I'm just super pregnant, hormonal and I'm at like maximum capacity. But um I'm still sitting here, what time is it? It's 4.30 now, I've been sitting here for hours and I'm only 12 minutes into editing this video. I think I'm gonna head upstairs and um, help Mike cook some dinner. Um, and the Super Bowl starts in like an hour. Oh my goodness, all right. Well, I'm sure you guys are sick of listening to my um, rambling. So let's go upstairs and show you what's going on up there. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else. Rest of our time, and I know it so well. I will always be by your side. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you 
making me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby We have our new rug coming in tomorrow which like looks a lot like this rug here and then this rug is gonna go here once the floors are dry and we'll have the new rug and it'll it'll come out to like here and fill this entire space it'll be really nice okay i think i'm gonna end the vlog there for today i just got done cleaning the entryway for the most part i have to wait for it to dry so i can put that rug back down but i'm gonna go downstairs i'm gonna finish editing my video which i've literally been editing all day that one has been so much work and i still have a lot of work left to put into that Mike is finally taking a break. He was making furniture all weekend, finally taking a break. Um, and then, <sighs> um, yeah, hopefully a little bit of that cleaning will send me into labor, but I don't have my hopes up because I feel like my body doesn't, just doesn't know what it's doing. <laughs> Again, I've said it a million times, but I have the I'm in labor video ready to go So you guys will know as soon as I'm in labor. So stay tuned for that um, And I will see you guys on Sunday for labor induction video. Okay. Bye guys What a wonderful What a wonderful world